Welcome to Expose. I'm Lorraine Keane. Ireland's most famous babies got their heads wet over the weekend, literally. Rocco and Jay Byrne, sons of Westlife's Nicky Byrne and grandsons of the Taoiseach Bertie Ahern, were christened near their family home in Malahide. Civil has the story. Born at six weeks early, but twins Rocco and Jay looked the picture of health as they arrived on time for their christening yesterday at St. Sylvester's Church in Malahide. Wearing matching sailor outfits, the boys slept through much of the event as their proud parent looked on. Very excited. Yeah, I'm very excited. Absolutely. It's amazing. They're beautiful. How are they coming along? They're doing very well, Fantastic. actually. Aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Keeping us awake at night, but that's what it's all about. <laughs> yeah, so they're it's, great it's brilliant. characters. Brilliant. And then, unless their final day, it makes it even more special, doesn't it? <laughs> the twins are nearly three months old at this stage, so have those names grown on Grandad? You get used to it very quickly, actually. It rings off at the start, I, uh, I was having Rock on Jay, but now everybody is on to them. Actually, they're, they're well known everywhere, because everywhere you go in the country, I say, how's Rock on Jay? So. Over 100 family and friends turned out for the occasion, including Nikki's fellow Westlife bandmates. Mark Feely attended with boyfriend Kevin McDade, Kean with girlfriend Jody Albert, and Shane Feeling with his wife Julian and their baby girl Nicola. It was lovely, yeah. It was, um, you know, very simple. Priest, same priest that did the wedding as well, obviously. So um, it was nice to see the two babies. They're so small in their arms, like it's, it's hard to believe, you know, how, how old they are at this stage. But uh, yeah, it was great. It was lovely. Really nice. To have a baby obviously is, is fantastic and it's a miracle. So you take it when you you know, you take it when you get it obviously. Um but tour, you know, it's just like any other job. You just you know, you mix it and you go on tour and you bring your kids with you and that's it. You know, it's it's great that we can do it and it's great that we're we're still doing it and our kids are starting to maybe enjoy it now as well in the next few years, you know. Looking back to think, you know, when we were eighteen if we were told that it was gonna be like this and people were gonna be having kids and we'd still be together, you know, nine years later and stuff. You know, it's just it's incomprehensible at that point to think that that's what the stage we'd be at now, but, um, you know, it's just, it's great, you know, you kind of take it as it comes and it's fantastic, you know, Shane, Brian had kids, uh, Shane's had Nicole, and now Nikki has the twins and stuff, you know, so we've got five kids now, so we're getting used to it at this stage, you know. One of the last to arrive was Westlife's manager, Louis Walsh, who missed much of the ceremony. We're like a family now, you know, and it's, it's not all about the music, it's like a soap opera Westlife, really. <laughs> So who gets the tough job of... Who's her godfather? Oh, Adam, Nicky's brother. And then Jay, is, uh, his godparents are... Sorry. Julian and Mark. And who's on babysitting duties then? Miriam and I have babysat a couple of times. So uh, they're doing very well now. They're, uh, they're up to... Their weight is up and they're getting heavy and... So you can see a bit of both parents in, in both of them, really. Um, but I think, I suppose Jay is quite like Jadina and Rocco is very like Nico. He's shouting <laughs> a lot in the church. And the christening party continued well into the night at Nikki and Georgina's plush Malahide pad. Congratulations.